is up everybody it's your boy dre back it again with another video so we're trying to put some shots up today we finally get better every single day bro no days off so um today's video is going to be a different video we're going to talk about simple interest and uh, i'm gonna challenge y'all if i make this shot y'all need to like and share this video and subscribe this channel all right let's get it So the topic that we're going to tackle today is simple interest. What is interest? Interest is the cost of borrowing money where the borrower pays a fee to the lender for the loan. The interest, typically expressed as a percentage, can be either simple or compounded. What is simple interest? Simple interest is an interest calculated on the principal portion of a loan or the original contribution to a savings account. Simple interest does not compound, meaning that an account holder will only gain interest on the principal and a borrower will never have to pay interest on interest already accrued or received. So what is principal? Principal is an amount you've deposited or borrowed. Next is rate. Rate is a percent of the principal earned or paid. And lastly, time. Time is the number of years the money is deposited or borrowed. Simple interest formula. I stands for interest, P stands for principal, R stands for rate, and T stands for time. So we all know that I equals P R T. But what if we wanted to solve P? Well, if we covered up P, we would get I divided by R times T. And if we wanted to solve for R, let's just pretend that R is covered up we would get i divided by p times t. And if we wanted to solve for t, imagine that t is covered up, we would get i divided by p times r. Let's look at the examples. Example number one. Josh takes a loan of $8,000 to buy a used truck at the rate of 9% simple interest. Calculate the annual interest to be paid for the loan amount. From the details given in the problem, our principal is $8,000 and our rate is 9% or 0.09 expressed as a decimal. As the annual interest is to be calculated, the time period is t equals 1. Plugging these values in the simple interest formula, our formula for interest is i equals p times t times r. So substitute the given. 8,000 times 1 times 0 0.09 and our annual interest to be paid is $720. Example number 2. Steve invested $10,000 in a savings bank account that earned 2% simple interest. Find the interest earned if the amount was kept in the bank for 4 years. So our principal is $10,000 the time period is 4 years and our rate of interest is 2% or 0 0.02. Plugging these values in the simple interest formula, so it's just the same with the previous one, interest formula. So substitute the given 10,000 times 4 times 0 0.02 equals $800. So interest earned for the investment was $800. Example number 3, Ryan bought $15,000 from a bank to buy a car at 10% simple interest. If he paid $9,000 as interest while clearing the loan, find the time for which the loan was given. So our principal is $15,000, our rate of interest is 10% or 0 0.010, and the interest paid is $9,000, and T is to be found. So, the formula for time is I divided by P times R. So, substitute the given 9,000 divided by 15,000 times 0 0.010. So, the loan was given for 6 years. Example number 4. 
Jethro got a 1200 loan for two years. He paid $90 in interest. What was the interest rate? So our principal is 1200 and the time was two years and the interest paid was $90 and R is to be found. So the formula for rate is I divided by P times T. So substitute the given 90 divided by 1200 times 2 and multiply 1200 by 2 is 2400 so 90 divided by 2400 is 0 0.0375 so the interest rate was 3.75 percent so that's it for the video thanks for watching god bless